Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante. I'm with Wikibon.org, and I'm with my colleague Stu Miniman, who's also with Wikibon. This is SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage, live coverage of VMworld 2012. This is our third year here. We're in the hang space. Come by and see us. Very relaxed atmosphere. Play some foosball, play some shuffleboard, and uh, we've got a great segment here. We're here with Praveen Akiraju, who's the new CEO of VCE, the Virtual Computing Environment Company. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, glad to be here. Great to see you. This is, uh, this is kind of a coming out party for you, isn't it? it uh, no, it's absolutely wonderful. You know, great technology, great people, customers, partners, having a ball. So we spent, obviously, a lot of time at Cisco, um, which at one point was the C in VCE, but uh, you guys evolved the name for, you know, mm -hmm. for a variety of reasons. But um, so tell us, uh, you know, what do you bring to, to VCE? Yeah, you know, I think this, um, it's obviously an amazing space, as you saw today, uh, over the last couple of days, actually. Uh, and the data center is going through a, a phenomenal transformation. Uh, new technologies, uh, new, um, new ways of deploying, and new business models. And I think, um, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, you know, my career has been at Cisco in the networking space, but uh, while at Cisco, I'd spent a lot of time in the service provider space. My last job actually was uh, in the BYOD space. I, I ran the mobility business. Um, and uh, we used to define a lot of the architectures that connected into the cloud. So a lot of the access infrastructure, you saw actually Steve had a talk about the ISR G2 and VMware View. That's actually, that was actually my product. That was the work that I did with him before we came here. So, um, you know, from my perspective, I think I really understand how customers, users, and our uh, enterprises actually deploy uh, and roll out the access infrastructure that's key to actually uh, engaging and connecting with the cloud. So bringing that perspective, I think, would be key to uh, essentially evolving our strategy around how we take the data center infrastructure and differentiate VCE. Yeah, so when you think about, well, so how did we get here? So when you guys announced vBlock, mm -hmm. and uh, at the time, it was a relatively new concept, although a lot of people have said, and I, and I generally have said it as well, that. Converged infrastructure is largely evolutionary. Um, it's not like hugely disruptive sure. or radically, you know, uh, uh, disruptive. But at the same time, what Cisco brought was different. Yeah, you know, got into a new market. Right, so you're taking it from a different um, angle. So, what's your point of view on that? Is converged infrastructure evolutionary or is it revolutionary? Yeah, you know, I think you could, from a pure system perspective, obviously we're putting together best-in-class components from Cisco, EMC, and VMware and delivering that to our customers. But if you really think about how data centers have been deployed and the customer experience around the uh, cost, the bring up time, what VCE is doing is truly revolutionary. We're able to cut the, co the uh, time to deployment, time to uptime basically, for data center infrastructure by five times, cut cost by about three times. And these is, this has been proven out over 500 customers that we've deployed the vBlocks with. The, the key here really is, as we talked about earlier, the data center is in a period of intense evolution. And what we've done at VC is to establish converged infrastructure as the basic building block of the next generation data center. Now there's a lot of opportunity for us to build off of that to, to deliver new innovative capabilities, whether it's deploying solutions, whether it's enabling uh, you know, different management stacks and customer choice on top of this infrastructure. Uh, I think that's what we're really well poised to do. So, and, um, I, I want to just continue this line of thinking. Does it help people understand why why you, why now? So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Mike, Mike Capellas, he's been in the queue before, a very sure. senior, senior exec. Um, big business, you know, huge TAM. We've yep. quantified it as a $400 million TAM. Yep. Obviously, VC and E are spending a lot of money to go after that. Yep. You know, it's well publicized. Um, the investments that you're, you're making here, you're an executive with a lot of operational experience. Yes. I mean, it's very clear. You look at your resume and it's yep. like, this guy knows how to run a business. <laughs> 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 knows P&L management, knows how to run operations. Why you, why now? I think we are ready to basically take the next step as VCE. And this is you know, just in, in line with basically how the data center uh, technology and architecture is evolving. As I said, the VCE was a pioneer in establishing convergent infrastructure as a building block for the data center. And the team's done an amazing job of delivering a phenomenal customer experience, tremendous customer loyalty and value to our customers. So as we look forward, you know, you saw a lot of innovations rolled out here today, soft, uh, in, in this week, right? Software-defined data centers, uh, management orchestration stacks, new kind of applications. We believe that VC is at a point where it's ready to take the next step as evolution uh, to be able to deliver innovative capabilities that abstract the converged infrastructure. Um, we've proven out that 
converged infrastructure is deliverable, and we have a lot of other players in the market now. So uh, we want to take the learnings that we have from the experience over the past couple of years and put that back into our engineering so we can develop uh, software capabilities, service capabilities that are innovative on top of the converged infrastructure as a platform. So my background in basically scaling up businesses will basically help us uh, drive, take the strategy the team's been uh, already driving and essentially operationalize that so we can take the company past mm -hmm. a billion dollars, which is the run rate we're approaching. Rapidly. Yeah, and so, uh, but profitability <laughs> thus far has not been the primary objective, it's been growth. Yes. Now you're a billion dollar company, you're headed toward a billion dollar company. Does that change, especially with someone like you in charge? Is that really a primary you know, uh, motivation now? I think the, the, the fundamental financial value proposition of VCE back to our investor companies has been the growth that we deliver uh, in, in their respective segments. So if you look at, for example, at the UCS business for Cisco, we're able to get them into accounts and a data center level that uh, probably would have been harder for them to just penetrate as a pure UCS business. Because now we enable a different level of conversation of the entire data center. You know, a lot of the, um, the V architects, our, our uh, sales teams, as well as our professional services are able to have a completely different discussion than what a individual component discussion would be, right? So um, the key here financially is to deliver those growth continue to drive growth for EMC, Cisco, as well as VMware in terms of those respective areas, but more importantly, deliver innovation, right? And I think that's the key for us to, you know, in terms of expectations for VCE going forward. So I can infer from that statement, though, from a, from a shareholder perspective, you're, you're already delivering value in the form of- Absolutely. Not, not only revenue, but there's profits that are, that are trickling down into the individual companies that they presumably wouldn't have had otherwise. That's the Absolutely, premise, right? I think we've accomplished three things for our for our investor companies. One is we've uh, delivered tremendous growth in new markets for our companies like Cisco, as well as VMware in terms of some of the larger contracts and ELAs we're able to leverage for them. Uh, secondly, uh, we are uh, meeting all our financial goals and objectives as defined by our investors for us as a company. As you know, we're a private company, so we don't quite publish our, our financial results, but uh, we absolutely have a very rigorous way of auditing and making sure we have well-defined financial goals that we are delivering. So, uh, you know, the goal for us here is to continue to accelerate the growth and be and dr drive the disruption. We're in a hyper growth phase as a company at VCE, and I think uh, it's it, you can see that from the evolution of our product offers as well as the way that capabilities in the teams have been built up in our customer base. So with the acquisition of Nicera, there's been a lot of speculation that, that EMC and, and Cisco are pulling back from the relationship. Is, are EMC and, 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 and Cisco pulling back from the relationship? Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, that's an interesting question because uh, when you look at uh, a lot of the things that uh, has been put out there, it's a fair question to say, hey, you know, what does this mean for the broader VCE future? And I can tell you that um, you know, if you take it from a customer perspective, what VCE delivers in terms of putting together these best-in-class uh, products and uh, delivering a converged infrastructure, uh, both Cisco VC and EMC are completely committed to VCE as the only path for delivering converged infrastructure. Now, uh, there are obviously different plays at the lower end of the spectrum uh, that, that both Cisco and EMC deliver, but we typically find ourselves not competing with the lower end plays, which the more reference architecture type plays, because our customers are the Fortune 500 type customers where we're going in there, we're transforming the data center, we're fundamentally accelerating the, the infrastructure plays. So the other aspect uh, of, of Nicera, if you actually saw the press release that came out uh, yesterday from Cisco and VMware, uh, they have committed to joint engineering development and actually called out VCE as a key route to market for the technology that Cisco and VMware would develop jointly in the software uh, defined data center space. So, um, you know, obviously I think when you look at the technology industry, for those of us who've been in this space for a while, there are always going to be, uh, you know, areas where the investor companies will have some areas of common investment and common, uh, pro you know, products where they are, they are potentially uh, in the same space. But I think if you look at converged infrastructure, VC is the only route to market and uh, all our investor companies are committed to continue to deliver the technologies that, that they acquire into VC to, to deliver to our customers. So Praveen, I'm wondering if we can dig in a little deeper to kind of the, the, that Absolutely. vision of the software-defined data center. So yep. when VCE first launched, everybody looked at, okay, we have a V-block. It's a yep. converged infrastructure, but at its core, what VCE really looked to do is transform the way IT is consumed. So right. uh, whether that be to the service providers right. that you sell to or to the end users, great, kind of right. some as-a-service platform. Right. Um, 
if we see the vision that VMware is laying out of the software yeah. defined data center and what Nicira is talking about, you know, where does where does VCE, which still at its core, it, yeah. it's not only hardware, but you have a hardware. When I think of a software defined data center, yeah. well, as I said, one of the litmus tests is do yeah. I have to run it on this hardware or is it is it abstracted? So where does a, a company like VCE right. fit in a software defined world? I think at the end of the day, um, when you look at infrastructure, that's one component of what the value that we truly deliver. The, uh, the actual real value is our ability to abstract that converged infrastructure so you can enable customers to have the choice of, uh, simple, you know, of getting applications or management and orchestration stacks or their own uh, customized uh, you know, applications like Hadoop and da big data to run on this converged infrastructure in a simplistic manner. So uh, our direction absolutely is to continue to develop software capability that will abstract the, uh, the converged infrastructure and be able to offer a, a much more efficient and faster way for enabling management orchestration. Choice for customers, which is kind of what elasticity, right? Which is kind of what the foundation of the software defined data center is. Mm -hmm. So that, that is an area where we're driving significant investment. Okay, so one of the things we love to dip in under the cube and our audience likes is what's yep. the competition look like? So yes. I remember if I could look a year ago, uh, I heard the VCE folks saying, you know, it's Oracle, it's HP, it's yep. IBM. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, there's been a new wave of converged vendors that yes. are coming out. Flash is coming out. Right. Uh, I heard some announcements this week about VCE, like the, the right. Flash card with, uh, yep. uh, from EMC. So, you know, what's the state of the competition? Who are you yep. battling against, you know, and, and, and what's little bit of that makeup. You know, here's the interesting data point. Now, as, as you guys know, um, this is sort of my fourth week at VCE. So I've been mm -hmm. spending a lot of time on the road with our customers, with our partners, as well as with uh, the teams at VCE, uh, understanding essentially our core competencies, our business. And one thing that truly really struck me was, um, you know, the, 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 the claim that our teams made and justified by the customers and partners that every time we go into a proof of concept, uh, VCE always wins. Right. In fact, we've had instances where uh, we've had a customer basically come in and say, drop off your, um, your V-block and walk away. Right? We will do our own test. And we were able to complete the entire proof of concept before our competition was able to actually configure and get their platforms up and running. Right? So uh, I feel we have a significant competitive advantage. A competitive advantage both in terms of the building blocks that we have are best in class, whether it's storage, networking, or virtualization. And secondly, I think, I call them scars on the back, and again, having been uh, in, the, in the industry for a while, um, it takes a lot to actually put together a converged infrastructure play, right? Uh, and operational you know, folks in the IT departments would, would know what, I was talk what I'm talking about. You, you fundamentally learn a lot by actually putting these systems together, getting them deployed, and delivering on the promise of getting the system up and running within 30 to 40 days for our customers. So that, I think, is a huge advantage for us, which allows us to then take that forward from an innovation perspective in terms of simplifying and abstracting the converged infrastructure. A lot of our competitors have recognized the converged infrastructure space. We welcome to the, them to the market. I think they're going to have credible offers, obviously. You know, there's a spectrum of converged infrastructure offers. We obviously are targeting the Fortune 500 Right, and we will be uh, coming up with offers for the rest of the spectrum of the market as well. So, so last question I have for you: If you're focused on the Fortune 500, yep. you know, wh where how does that fit with your channel? Uh, so, there, there was a little bit of a rough ride the first kind of 12 to yeah. 18 months with VCE. So, you know, where are you with the channel? You know, who are you? Where are you seeing your deals from yeah. from a partner channel's perspective? Yeah, I think we have uh, close to 150 partners uh, who are certified uh, for, oh, the, on the V Block. Um, you know, partners is a very important uh, part of our strategy. And we look at it in, in, in a couple of different ways. One is obviously, as uh, you know, from a relationship perspective, we work very closely with a lot of our partners as we go to market and, and deliver our V blocks to large customers, Fortune 100 customers. But we're also enabling partners to be able to configure and drive V block sales themselves. And I think that's the most exciting part for us. So we're seeing some good traction, particularly in some of the regional uh, regional parts of the United States and the West and the in the Midwest, where we're seeing pretty good traction from partners. Our, our longer term strategy for partners, obviously, is to ensure that we're able to deliver to them profitability at the same time deliver to them uh, a, a product set that they're excited about, that they can go and, and drive uh, you know, to their customers and explore new markets for us as well. Um, competitively, you were talking before, I mean, it used to be just B yep. Block was it. Um, and then sort of HP, you know, maybe, they, HP would argue simultaneously came into the market, yep. you guys would say you were first, we would agree that you were, you were first, but 
But for a while, it was HP and, and yep. BCE, really, as a two-horse race, and now sort of everybody's in it. IBM has thrown down the gauntlet and brought its expert integrated systems in, and its mm -hmm. differentiation is this application knowledge. Yep. So now, my question to you, Praveen, is how do you sort of continue that leadership? Do you bring in sort of similar knowledge? Can you leapfrog that? What's, yeah. the, what's the next you know, vision on the roadmap? For well, I think we, we have to build on what our core strength is, which is delivering an amazing customer experience. Uh, you know, I was uh, at dinner yesterday with one of our customers um, from SoftBank with whom we just announced uh, a global partnership to deliver uh, you know, the, the WeBlock systems as, as part of their cloud uh, services strategy. And what he told me was he had you know, close to $7 million invested in a traditional sort of build-it-yourself data center architecture. It took him almost six months to stand it up. And so this is the COO of, the, of SoftBank, and he said, the first WeBlock, we were able to get it up and running in 40 days, and it just blew his mind. Right? And that was really why he was willing to sign, take the leap of faith and sign this huge uh, partnership with us. So really, I think that customer experience is what we, uh, we, build our, uh, we build our foundation on. Now, as I said, the scars on the back aspect is important because what we do is we actually bring in uh, technology experts, whether they're storage experts or network experts or compute guys, and train them for six months so they're actually able to go into a customer and have a full data center conversation all the way up to the applications. We're absolutely comfortable with the talent that we have on the sales side, on the services side, to deliver that remarkable experience. And I think um, we are, we've built it from the ground up with the experience of having deployed 500 customers. And I think that's, uh, again, as I said, a key competitive advantage for us. Now, am I correct? Most of that activity has been, or much of that activity has been in the U.S. You guys announced this morning a deal with SoftBank in yes. Japan. First of all, is that first statement correct that most of the activity and the focus has been in the U.S. and is, does this mark a new sort of chapter? Well, we've been pretty much very, we have some pretty key customers in Europe as well. Uh, we, are, uh, we are sort of uh, starting, to, uh, starting to penetrate into the asia Pac market. SoftBank is one of the most significant deals that we've announced. But as part of some of our customers who are you know, large multinationals, we've had footprint in Asia for a while. But this is clearly one of the most significant announcements for us in APAC. Great, all right, Praveen, well thanks very much for coming to theCUBE, congratulations on your new role. Thank uh, you. We'll be watching and uh, good luck. Thank you, thank you for a right, great show. keep it right there everybody, we'll be right back. Uh, Jay Shreet Ulal is coming on from uh, uh, CEO of Arista and we're live here, siliconangle.tv, we're at VMworld. Uh, keep it right here, we'll be right back.